Hi, welcome to a Gordon Cafe. Uh, we've got a little shop now and uh, we sell all sorts of things, electrical items, reconditioned uh, stuff, bought and sold electrical appliances. And um, as I've told you in our other videos, um, I've got electrical stuff most of my life. And so now um, we sell them in the shop and the barn. We pat test everything in the shop. And uh, this is the pat test we use. It's the Unit T. Uh, 5 to 8, which is um, not 5 to 8 in the evening, 5 to 8. <laughs> and uh, so we did pat test it um, Yeah, God comes to me and says, Yeah, you a pat tester? I said, Do I look like an Irish psychologist? Hmm. Anyway, so <coughs> um, there we are. Oh, and I am qualified, just a moment. There we are. See? Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> That proves I'm in time. So, uh, yes, the unit T pat tester. So, just got this toaster. Um, when we pat test something, what we do, first of all, have a look at it. Now, if, if it's in situ, you have a look around where the, uh, what the situation is, where it is, its surroundings, is it safe in that, you know, the lead's not all wrapped up. Is this is there a lead not hanging over another toaster, or another toaster, or a kettle, something like that? Or is it draping across it to the socket? You know, that would be unsafe. So you look around this environment. And um, <coughs> the risk assessment on it, what sort of risk is it? Is it high, medium, or low risk? And first of all, you look at the plug and you say, yes, that's a plug. <laughs> um, check the plug, make sure it's not cracked. Uh, make sure it's got these insulation on the positive and negative there. If it hasn't got the insulation, the, the, the plug's no good. Top it off and throw it away. Um, and uh, I like to chop plugs off because you find many faults um, on things which don't work anymore. And what it's down to is the, um, the lead. It's got so much of this as it's being used all the time, plugged and unplugged and plugged. And it breaks here. So you might as well chop that off and, and refit it. <coughs> that's not really a pat tester's job to do that but I do so you're checking the plug for any cracks as well and make sure it's up to standard uh, look for a kite mark and on this one it's um, it's on the back just the see. and the size of the fuse as well for an appliance like this you need a 13 amp fuse um, this is a um, 850 watts now one kilowatt draws just over just under five amps so this being um, 850 watt will draw about three and a half maybe four amps so you may say well you get over the three amp fuse well no you won't because when you first turn an appliance on you get an initial surge and it'll blow the fuse and if it doesn't blow it on the first time it'll blow it pretty soon so you have to get a 13 amp fuse in there and we'll check the plug over and make sure that you've got um, the, the positive or the brown to the right going to the fuse, negative to the left, earth to the earth pin. Um, it's not a pat tester's job to actually take the fuse off, the, the plug off, uh, but you, you should check the fuse anyway. Then you must check the lead, make sure that it's not got any abrasions on it and that it's not, um, uh, what's the word, perishing. And it, when, when you turn the lead over like this, if it's perishing you'll see the cracks start to show so then we go down all the way along I've already done this one and um, so if the plug's okay insulated if it's got insulation on the earth pin it's not you've got to chew it away again because the, some of some plugs were made with insulation on the earth pin like it is on the uh, negative the live and negative if it's got insulation on the earth pin then you've got to chuck it away no good so we check the lead all the way along and uh, to make sure that it's all hunky dory and up to standard. So now the next thing we do is we're going to um, pat test the actual appliance itself now. So start the pat testing. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to uh, zero the earth bond test lead. Now <coughs> this is your earth bond test lead. Yeah. Okay, and what we do is we plug this into the you can see the uh, mark on the back of the uh, pat machine, and we then plug 
move E this onto this little area here, into the bottom of that, and you plug this into the front of the machine, right there, and you can see this all right, and then <coughs> turn it on, and we hold down this, you can see the earthing symbol on there, we hold that down for five seconds, and it will null out the test lead and it will say good okay so now we can proceed with the test okay so we're going to test this toaster now okay so what we do is we plug in the item we're going to test which is a class, class one appliance into the socket on here. Um, this, is, this is not plugged into the mains, this is a battery operated item. And um, we'll put our crocodile clip onto this. This is the um, earth from the test earth here. Um, into the back of the machine, into the uh, earth, do further up. And we connect this onto our item, onto an exposed metal part, onto our item to be tested. Now we turn the machine on, on the unit, unit T, uh, we, you press these two buttons together which is the um, earth symbol button for the class 1 appliance and the class 2 appliance, there you can see the class 2 appliance symbol there, you just press them two together and it switches on. Right, now when you, when you test an appliance, the appliance has got to be switched on. So I'm going to show you what happens if we don't hold the toaster set um, on. Uh, when we put it on to test. So we've got the earth clip connected to the um, exposed metal part on the appliance and we've got the appliance plugged in there. So now we'll put it on as a class 1 appliance and we'll start the test. So we press this button here and it'll come into the test. Earth continuity is good. Insulation is that uh, it's got um, low load and that's what happens. So now we push this down here and we hold it down because if we let it go, it might switch off. Insulation is good, and leakage is good. And you can see it comes up as a pass. So there we are, and that is about it um, for, for testing. And we switch the appliance off by holding those two, the tester off, pressing those two down, and it switches off. In. And there we are, we can disconnect that, and we can unplug our appliance from here. And the next thing we've got to do now is to find someone to buy it for my little shop. <laughs> um, so there we are. The um, the interior of this is pretty good. It's uh, it's, had, it's had very little use, and uh, there's no cracks on the case. It's not a mucky device, it needs a clean. It's got a few finger marks on and the chrome work, but uh, there we are. And so we'll fill in one of these labels now. And it's got the name on the Electromec and the phone number. It's got the appliance ID um, and who tested it, the testing date and the next test date too, which will be 12 months time. This one of these stickers I'll stick on the end there, somewhere out the way, just down there somewhere. And so people can see it's been tested. And in our shop, we have a copy of the um, certificate of testing for myself, um, which I did in 2005, nine years ago. And um, that's when men were men. And um, also, I've got a, I've got the certificate of calibration for that for our testing machine over here. Um, to say it's in date with the testing of the actual testing machine. So there we are, and that's uh, testing a class one appliance. And thank you very much, and bye bye for now.